North Dakota is working very hard to make sure every person fills out the census. And joining us to talk about a unique uh, competition that's happening to get people uh, excited about filling out the census, we have Patrick Bertinali joining us to talk a little bit about, well, it sounds like a uh, competition is underway with uh, different counties across North Dakota. Can you tell us a little bit more about this, Patrick? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the North Dakota Association of Counties has got a derby going on and uh, you can actually go to the North Dakota Census website and kind of follow the, the, the derby. But currently right now, Pierce County is uh, leading the charge with 32.1% of self uh, reporting and ransom is coming in. Foster, Wells and Griggs are all top counties in the state of North Dakota that are doing a fantastic job with self reporting. Um, so I encourage people to, you can actually go to North Dakota Association of Counties and they've uh, got this derby up on their website as well. And then another uh, uh, competition that's going on is with the North Dakota League of Cities. They actually have a, a bracket and they've got some of the smaller communities competing against each other and then some of the larger communities competing against each other as well. And they'll update that um, periodically to let the counties know where they sit. But I think it's a fantastic opportunity for our uh, counties to uh, compete against one another and, and, and see who's going to win. So I will say with North Dakota uh, League of Cities, uh, whoever the winner is at the end of this deal will uh, have a pizza party hosted at their city commission meeting uh, to recognize that community for their diligence in getting this census completed. I love this. Of course, we're without sports right now. We need a little competition. Uh, can you talk a little bit more on, on why it's important to kind of rally people to get excited, even if it's just a competition? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, one thing that I'd like to say, too, is over here in McKenzie County, you know, we have what we call a hard to count population in the oil and gas industry. Um, so one thing that I really encourage people of North Dakota to uh, take part in is reaching out to their family, friends and neighbors. And once they complete the census and see how easy it is, I'd really encourage them to reach out and just network with, uh, with the folks in their communities to get this completed. So I can tell you just in the last few days, I've sent out uh, personal emails to several of the different oil companies out here. And I can tell you that ConocoPhillips, uh, One Oak, Crestwood, Oasis, um, and several other companies have responded saying that they'll get that information out to their uh, employees. And I actually even had one manager, this is a great example. Uh, he responded to me and he said, hey, that was super easy. He said, as my employees get in from work today, I will have a computer station uh, ready for those folks to jump on there and complete their census and obviously do the disinfecting as far as the, the computer um, station is concerned. But um, that's really what it's going to take, in my opinion, to uh, make sure we get that count correct. And it, it, it impacts every one of us. And for every family that we miss, it, it's we're talking $44,000 over a 10 year period. And each person that we collect or, you know, information on it's $1,910 per year. So that has a significant impact to our communities. Uh, one thing that I'll say too, is I was uh, in a smaller community here uh, several months ago and I was talking to that community economic development about the importance of the census. And we were just looking at their specific, you know, stats and they over the last 10 years have grown in their population by a thousand. So simple math, that community has uh, upwards around $19 million of federal funding that is super critical to our smaller communities in North Dakota. So that's just a simple example of how important it is to make sure we get this done and we get it done right. It really is important. Patrick, thank you so much for your time. I love the competitions, the challenge in these days of social distancing. Uh, we should all put it out there. Put it out there on Facebook, text message or email, and uh, have all your friends and family get the census filled out. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Lisa. We'll be right back here on North Dakota Today.